What's the diagnosis? Let's piece this one apart. The mediastinum is abnormal. Firstly, there are two aortic contours. That can't be right. Follow the mass down and you can make out the left hilum through the mass. This is something called the hilum overlay sign. As we can see the hilum clearly, this means this part of the lesion can't sit in the middle mediastinum, but it's either within the anterior or the posterior mediastinum. When the hilum overlay sign is present, statistically anterior mediastinal lesions are more likely. But don't stop there, the right side of the mediastinum is abnormal as well. Here's a normal chest x-ray. Here we can see the normal right paratracheal stripe, which is a thin line on the side of the trachea. Next to that is a hazy opacity reflecting the SVC and brachiocephalic veins. In our case, we've lost that thin stripe and have a large opacity which bulges out. Given loss of the right paratracheal stripe and mild deviation of the trachea to the left, it suggests that at least some of the mass also involves the middle mediastinum. Also, if we look at the left costophrenic angle, we can see there is a small pleural effusion. Here's the CT scan. When we come down, we can see a confluent nodal mass within the anterior mediastinum. There are also nodes within the right lower paratracheal region, which deviates the trachea to the left, slightly accounting for what we saw on the chest x-ray. With mediastinal masses, always look at the SVC. Here it looks flat and at risk of obstruction. These nodes were biopsied, confirming a diagnosis of Hodgkin lymphoma. On the post-chemotherapy chest x-ray, we can see there's been a good response to treatment and the mass has gone.